Well, to chat some more on the issue uh, on South African actors, we're joined on the line by veteran actress, that's uh, Mum Florence Masebe. Uh, good afternoon, Mum Flo, and thank you for your time on the SABC News Desk. Hi. Uh, Florence, it's been uh, quite a journey up until this point. Uh, just to tell us why so many actors in the country at this juncture feel so aggrieved that they had to elevate this to parliamentary level. Well, it's not so much actors feeling that they need to elevate things to parliamentary level. Parliament had the bill um, ready. I think the DTI uh, minister put this bill in Parliament in 2016, and then the Parliamentary Portfolio Committee on Trade and De Industry asked for comments and, and, and input on it. And I'm glad that actors wanted their voices heard on it when it finally came before Parliament. Mm. Uh, Florence, before seeking uh, parliamentary interventions or, or comment, like you're saying, you must have initially approached employers. Uh, what were some of the frustrations around this at that point? Look, there are no employers in this industry. This is what is really tricky. We've got an unholy alliance between actors, producers, and broadcasters, and the broadcasters and the producers take all the great parts of this deal, and the actors are just left at the bottom scraping for whatever they choose to leave for them. So for many, many years, everyone has tried to find a way of better treatment of actors in terms of giving us residuals, giving us um, more instead of just the small fees that get paid to actors for showing up to shoot a project. And, um, you know, you can't blame the producers for it because they're not the ones that are supposed to do that. But the broadcasters have had no intention of coming to the party on this one, mm -hmm. including the one you're speaking to me on. All right. Uh, tell us a little bit more uh, on the Performers Protection Amendment Bill uh, and how it will improve your lot at this point. The Performers Protection Amendment Bill seeks to bring the South African environment for the uh, performance. Yeah, um, and then by performance, it includes more than just actors, by the way, because it includes any performing artist. It is just that the older version of this law had not included the audiovisual performer as a specific performer in it. What it seeks to do now is to recognize the fact that the audiovisual performer, which is what an actor is, has a right to residuals, has a right to economic rights, has a right to moral rights as set out in the Beijing Treaty. Mm. Uh, Florence, how difficult has it been to uh, galvanize the support you needed uh, from your own fraternity? And based with your interaction with parliamentarians at this point, uh, is there enough will, uh, political will, that is, do you think, to turn the situation around? Well, one will never know. We've given Parliament what our voices are. Um, I, I went in as an individual to present. I know other people also went in as individuals to present. Nandi Tampumlana is one of those as well. Um, the South African Guild of Actors, the uh, uh, Personal Managers Association also went all in support of the bill. Unfortunately, we know that the producers did not sing the same tune with us, neither did the broadcasters trying to come up with all forms of reasons why this should not be made the new way of doing things, because they're quite comfortable with the status quo. Mm -hmm. The parliamentarians seem to hear us, but you will never know what they do once we've left. So we are not going to suddenly be quiet and say we went to parliament. The noise will go on. We will continue to make others understand why this is very important for us. Florence Masebe, veteran actress, joining us on the line from Johannesburg. Thank you so much for your time on the SABC News Desk.